Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and, and welcome to the Sports Center of Las Vegas for the opening round of the Showbox Super Middleweight Tournament. Brought to you by Gary Shaw Productions in association with Round One Entertainment, PFTC, and Showtime. Tonight's bouts are sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission. The chairman is Skip Avancino, Jr. The executive director is Keith Kaiser. Also sanctioned by the IBO, Supervisor Frank Brunette. The three judges who will be scoring this bout will be Carol Castellano, Dave Moretti, and Glenn Trowbridge. And your referee in charge is Richard Steele. This bout, ladies and gentlemen, is scheduled for 10 rounds in the super middleweight division. Introducing first, he'll be fighting out of the blue corner. He entered the ring wearing the yellow trunks with red stripes and he weighed in at 168 pounds. He is unbeaten as a professional with 11 victories, no losses, 8 wins by knockout from Cartago, Costa Rica. Here is Lucas El Pirata Green Audio. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He's wearing a blue and white trunks and he weighed in at 167 pounds. He too is unbeaten with 13 victories, no losses, and 11 big wins by knockout. He comes to us from Capitol Heights, Maryland, introducing Henry Sugar Pooh Buchanan. Okay, his neighbor is there. You see his neighbor. So anything below that is a low blow. Keep your punches up. I want a good, clean fight. Shake hands. Good luck. We are ready to start this super middleweight tournament. It's Lucas Green Arias in the red and gold, and Sugar Poo, Henry Buchanan in the white and blue. Buchanan sticks that jab once, twice with authority, but coming forward is Lucas Green Arias, who likes middle distance and long range, Steve, but he's trying to walk Buchanan down now. Green Harris should be looking for a counter right hand because Buchanan does not bring his jab back after he sh shoots it. Well, he better put his left hand up, Buchanan. He's got it dangerously low and trying to wind up with that left. We saw him do it wildly in early fights on tape, and it looks like he hasn't been cured of it, which is a definite flaw on his game. <laughs> yeah, really. Buchanan came in with a Sean Merriman uh, jersey from the Chargers. That's his nephew, believe it or not. Lucas Green Harris lunging a little bit. His chin is dangerously up in the air when he did that. Not a lot of connects here very early in the fight. But impressive that Green Arias is certainly not running. Not a lot on that right hand from him. And now it's Buchanan showing a lot of shoulder, just darting out of uh, range. And trying to dial in at least read and see how Arias Green a green Arias moves. You can already see Buchanan's style. He's a guy that's loosey goosey in the ring and depends on reflexes and quickness, not really technique. Right, and here he goes, just cracking with that lead left hook and now a wild overhand right. So he looks very undisciplined here. And these two are very similar in terms of pro experience. As Nick said earlier in the show, both relatively untested. Green Arias coming forward. He's got a tight defense, putting punches together. Really a little bit of a jab and a right hand, not trying to double the jab. And Buchanan really probing and fighting this first round pretty cautiously. Well, the story of the first two minutes, Buchanan's jab. I mean, it's not always landing, but he's using it. And Green Arias isn't using his. Green Arias walking in behind a tight defense, but really little else there. Little baby hook, double jab from Buchanan. Buchanan inviting Ari Green Arias in, and he gets clocked with a right hand as he does. So Buchanan just standing around in what I call no man's land, and he got hit as a result. Green Arias in the golden red, the aggressor in this first round, and Steve, so far it may be enough for him to steal it. Well, I don't know. I think it's been mostly ineffective aggressiveness. Uh, Sugar Poo hasn't exactly been. That's a nice lead. Right. 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 Right.
Green Arias holding his ground and pumping a left to the ribs. Down the stretch here in round one. Oh, Green Arias walked into a right hand. What a setup that was. Hey, no quiero que pierda la cabeza. No tienes que perder la cabeza porque te dio un golpe. Tienes que pensar por qué es de que te dio ese golpe. ¿Eh? ¿Eh? Despacio. Usted, usted, tiene que, usted está ganando este, este round. ¿Para qué lo echa a perder? Okay, I want you ¿Eh? to, I want you to punch in the face. You're not, it, just go for the face. You won that round. I think you won that round. No, Nick called this first round real close. That was just before Buchanan had this uh, little flurry here. Nice right hand grazed off the top of Arias' head. Very simply, Buchanan's letting his hands go here. Arias, I think, thought he hurt Buchanan there at the end. But most of that exchange was all Buchanan. Well, they say keep it simple in the corner. And that's about as simple as it comes. <laughs> Punch to the face. <laughs> Hadn't heard that in a while, Steve. K-I-S-S, keep it simple, stupid, right? <laughs> Lucas Green Arias coming forward once again. When you hit on it, Steve, he's not coming in behind that jab. And Buchanan able to pot shot, pick him off, show him a little shoulder, a little head fake, maybe get him to commit and counter as well. He was effective with the counter punch, was Henry Buchanan in that first round. Nice right to the body, and then a return fire to the body from Green Arias. Hands low by Henry Buchanan. That, really no need for that. Exactly, and that, that's a point that has to be made. Lucas Arias has to throw in combination, because when a fighter keeps his hands low all the time like Buchanan, well, you know, he's going to use reflexes to go away. You may miss the first shot, but you may land the second or the third shot. Boy, Lucas Green Arias just looks uh, literally green. Uh, never been off his feet, once in the amateurs, never as a pro. He wants to control range, uh, is what he said coming in, but he seems to be wanting to violate Buchanan's face a little bit. So he definitely is not standing on the outside. But look, walking in, not punching, not even really showing the jab there finally. And Buchanan able to pick and poke. And Green wanted, uh, wanted an outside fight. He's got, he's got one. He's forced to come forward because Buchanan's quicker and he's able to land on the outside. Green no, is holy very boy, mechanical, doesn't he, Steve? Yes, he looks a little stiff and a little slow. Both of these guys, we say again, untested. Taking a step up and maybe a little blood trickling from uh, Green Arias's left nostril. There's that left hand, and Buchanan successfully keeps turning Green Arias. He isn't as adept, it seems, as in his movements. Well, there's only one athlete in the ring in there, and that's Sugarfoot. He's, he's quick. Break, come back, come angles, back. and uh, Green Harris being a little robotic is not adjusting that well. Single shots, though, from Buchanan. They want him to keep moving, and he's moving in a predictable way, continually to the left, and Green Arias is just walking into shots. Well, he can move any way he wants to the pool because he's not being pressured with anything significant. Looks like Green Arias doesn't know what to do. And now he chases him, connecting with one shot and missing with two others. Cannon able to fight somewhat effectively backing up because, as you said, Steve, he's not getting hit with anything clean. But I thought when I watched the film of Buchanan that if you push him back, not drive him back, he can't fight backing up. And he's been able to do it through two rounds here. Time. Así es como tú tienes que agarrar y pelear. No estar agarrando y esperando. Si tú no esperas, perdemos la... Si espera, la hace su boxeo, Lucas. Tiene que ir a llevarla. En el tío, yo, Lucas. Usted tiene que tirar ma las manos. Usted tiene con qué. Keep your left hand. Look for it. You're looking, you got to get out. Get his body. Get okay. his body a little bit, okay? Watch him. Watch him. So he got him with the right hand. He's getting desperate. Keep your hands up. He's getting Look desperate. All right? Again. One more time. Beautiful work. Oh, we got to trick it into the back out, baby. 
curious advice in the corner uh, in terms of de the only desperation I saw is that Dean Arias at the end of each round has tried to chase down Buchanan. He did land a solid right hand to the body of the bill, but beyond that, I'm not seeing desperation. I'm seeing I'm seeing uh, befuddlement. From yeah, the part of him. and and another point, Nick, is that is that Junius Hinton is telling Buchanan to keep his hands up. I think that's sort of like telling uh, the ship captain before they cross the Atlantic, don't let the boat get wet, because Buchanan fights with his hands up. That's how he fights. Just don't ever think it's a good idea. His hands are up now, but again, he's not in position to punch, it seems. So you could have a point, Steve. Just more comfortable from just unloading from a different point. Oh, right on the hip. It's not so important where Buchanan's hands are before he punches. It's what happens after he punches. Oh, and he got hit there quick with a little baby hook from Green Arias. But Green Arias with nothing else. There he is, just little faints, trying to faint his way in, but not punch his way in, ever. Oh, nice counter left hand as again, it's Henry Buchanan who continues to change angles and turn and run Lucas Arias, uh, Green Arias in the punches. Green Arias had Buchanan there and tracked him down, didn't know what to do. So both these guys are looking vastly inexperienced and again, it's very early in the tournament but you have to consider the winner here regardless of long shot. Just based on skill and past performance, they haven't been matched tough. Conditioning is going to be a key, Nick. Uh, Buchanan says the biggest improvement he's made is in taking conditioning seriously. Well, he's using movement here. That's what's working. And to do that for 10 rounds when you're only an eight-round fighter, he better be in great shape. Just spoke to Barry um, Hunter, who formerly trained Buchanan and trains the Peterson brothers, and he said that is the question and you really don't know the kid has talent but will he pay the price is he committed enough to his career good combination from Henry Buchanan a solid right hand and it looked like he had Green Arias in trouble and now Buchanan definitely revving it up offensively and there's blood from the right nostril of Green Arias Green Arias getting wild now and perhaps Junius Hinton his words between rounds a self-fulfilling prophecy because Green Arias does look desperate. Well, Buchanan should be very happy to keep this pace, score a little bit with the left hand, which now, by the way, is by his side again, because he's not getting hit. He doesn't have to open up that much. That'll only give Green Arias a chance to hit him. And arguably, Emily Buchanan has swept the first three rounds in the opener of our super middleweight showbox tournament. Lucas, tienes que tirar más. Tienes que tirar más. No. I want you to hit him more. I want you to hit him more. No le tiras. ¿Qué pasa? What's wrong? What happened? Estás amarrado, o qué? This time you're not doing anything with him. What's wrong? Action from round three. Buchanan's strategy, keep throwing. Downstairs and up. The left hook lands, follows it with a big right hand that sort of wobbled Green Arias. Buchanan's been fairly accurate. Certainly enough to win the three rounds. And um, Green Arias looked a little wobbly going back to his corner. And his trainer's been, what is, what is going on with him? He tells him to punch more, but do more, but how? What about some advice? You don't know if the kid's capable. So two, three, Steve, is there any doubt in your mind? No, I think that flurry at the end of the first round gave Buchanan round one, I'm two, and three were clear. I'm with you there. Henry Buchanan, both fighters undefeated, is in the white and blue and in the red and gold from Costa Rica, Lucas Green Arias. Arguably well behind in this 10-round fight. Opening round of our super middleweight eight-man single elimination tournament. We're in Las Vegas. Nick Charles with Steve Farhood will be back next week to complete the first round. Buchanan flicking the jab. Getting elusive and avoiding shots. Content to fight at his pace. 
Not a single clinch in this fight. I'm trying to find some redeeming value to hit the screen area. <laughs> well, he's still here. <laughs> Off balance there, not really a big shot, but that was a nice right hand as Buchanan really cracked with it. Left hook raised with the screen now. Yes, he won't hold on though. He's down. Hands are a little bit low now. Let's see if Buchanan could pick it up even more and start applying the pressure. He's still content to do the moving here and let Green Arias walk into shots. And the Costa Rican is obliging heavily. Look at On the turn there, on the switch, so to speak, uh, Green Arias did nothing just looking at Henry Buchanan, Steve. And now, finally, with the right followed by the left. Well, there are really only two ways to, to handle a fighter who's beating you with his jab. One is to jab with him. The other is to counter the jab so he stops throwing it. And Green Arias hasn't really even tried either one. Either one. Henry Buchanan apparently having his way here. Nick, you got to call him Sugar Poo. I've told you this for a week. It's the best nickname in the tournament. I mean, one of the best in boxing. Let's let him get the round two. Right, yeah, that you can play. <laughs> He's got to earn it. I'm not going to fire all my guns now. I don't consider him another, he, even though his waistband says Sugar. I'm not putting him in uh, with the same nickname as Leonard and, and, and Robinson yet, but Sugar Poo, you gotta, you gotta like it. Oh, that's a start. <laughs> his eyes, look at his eyes, Sugar Poo. Wide open, he sees everything that's happening. He's very focused. He knows that this is an opportunity for him that he otherwise, you know, he's just a local club fighter from Maryland. So he wasn't going anywhere, and this is an opportunity for him. And what you have to try to determine, and we may not have the answer until next week, is he looking good because there's not much in front of him, or is he looking good because he's boxing better than he ever has before? Precisely. Time. In August, America's Fight Night brings you brothers in action with world titles on the line. You see me? You can put a right hand behind the two J's. I must set that. Action from round four. Again, in combination from Buchanan. He's got pretty decent hand speed, I'll tell you. And technically, he's looked better tonight than i ever seen him watching him on tape. First time I've seen Sugar Poo live. I'll agree with that, Steve. I think he's landing cleaner shots than, than we've seen. I thought he was he really lacked sharpness and accuracy in the films we'd seen. And that's what he's doing. We saw those in early fights. That's exactly. Right. Again, really getting wild. Yeah, that, that's the shot we saw over and over on tape. Long overhand rights where he fell forward over his body. Got with a little left hook there. Well, Green Arias doing what you said he had to do. Now he countered. He countered a wild shot. You can't have the power shots. Not working off the jab as much. And Green Arias timed him a little bit, it seemed. And connected. Green Arias inside not knowing what to do. So he'll step back and start again. Again, without that jab, trying to pick off the jab of Buchanan with his gloves, but not coming back with anything. Now he takes the lead with a soft jab to the stomach once, then twice, but nothing behind it. And there, a good move by Green Arias as he rolls under a shot and counters with a left to the stomach. For the ribs of Henry Buchanan. Buchanan single shots in this round again. We talked about Steve, Steve about him putting things together. Oh, Maybe he's a different fighter when under a little pressure. You know, I mean, this round he's gotten a little bit of pressure coming at him. Arias, Green Arias has turned it up just a notch. And that was a combination by Green Arias. I told you he was capable of that. It's, it, it almost seems as if, uh, as if you can take a breather here in the fifth. And that would be alarming to me that he would need to. I think key for Green Arias again, not that, I don't think he's capable of driving Buchanan back, but really pushing him back. And maybe in a straight line, just not letting him have his way in terms of controlling this fight with his movement. Now, Green Arias not doing anything, just walking in, expecting to roll under a shot and come with that counter left hook to the rib. This is such a key round for uh, Green Arias because it's there to be won. He started coming forward. He had a good first half of the round. And he needs something to build on this. He needs something to get some confidence from. I mean, look how he's fighting the last minute of this round. Same old uh, guy. It's hit with the left. 
Buchanan controlling distance here, moving out of range. His hands are up, not firing, just trying to read Green Arias' moves and maybe counter him. Good left by Buchanan that, as he takes the play. Soft left back from Green Arias. They exchange really left hands and nothing more. Well, a closer round than we've seen in the prior four, previous four. As we complete five of the schedule ten rounder. Lucas, tira, por favor, tira más gol. Hit him, please, hit him. Muévete un poquito más. No quieres tirar, mueve la cintura. I want you to move, move. Hit him. Early in round five, Lucas Arias, nice left hook downstairs, right hand upstairs. If he did that a little bit more, maybe Buchanan would empty his gas tank by moving a little bit more. Bien, bueno. Vamos a trabajar, vamos a... Steve, everything's relative. You're the boxing historian. Costa Rica is a beautiful country, but in terms of being a bastion of, uh, of uh, world-class uh, boxing timber, how do you rate it? No, I mean, among the uh, Central American countries and South American countries, it's not up there because, uh, really, the best-known fighters who have fought out of Costa Rica, Ricardo Mayorga, but he's Nicaraguan, so Costa Rica's never had a world champion. And uh, I don't want to uh, jinx him, Nick, but with half this fight gone, I don't think Lucas uh, Green Arias is going to be the first. No, he doesn't seem to belong in his company, and Buchanan just, again, being able to control everything because very little coming back at him. Lucas Green Arias, who admittedly is not a huge puncher, has to do something that's got to be busier than him. And he hasn't gotten busy at all in this fight. He's walking in very awkwardly. He's a step behind. That's what it is. He doesn't have the hand speed or the foot speed to match Sugar Pearl. And it looks like Buchanan has timed and clocked and read every move that's coming. Like that. But again, one punch could change it. You can and can't get careless. Green's walked his man down and doesn't know what to do with him. Well, if you notice that the uh, Buchanan's a little more tentative down there, it seems why, Steve? He should be. Well, his corner told him, you know, Green Arias is desperate, don't take any chances. But when you, when you build a lead with five straight rounds, you keep doing what you were doing. And in a tournament, of course, it's maybe not important how you won, did you win? But playing it this safe against the guy who really, I don't think, was hurt you at all. Doesn't seem like the most desirable way. Well, there's a nice right hand from Buchanan. And now he's going to follow up as he is Manny Cross from the left hook. Let's see if he can fight inside. Nope, he wants to. A little space between himself and his opponent, so it looks like that. Uh, Buchanan's aware of his has a power inside. Oh, Green Iris is so slow, as you can see. He does, and Buchanan was right there. Yeah, Buchanan missed a pretty bad one two combination, and he was there to be hit. Nothing came back his way. Green Iris waiting, waiting, waiting. An occasional jab to be first. Missing with two shots of Buchanan really didn't make him pay for that. Well, the second half of this fight's all about conditioning as far as I'm concerned. And also focus for sure to be. Well, Buchanan's been eight twice and uh, never beyond six has been uh, Lucas Green Adams. Yeah, that's, that's not a, a promising sign. Buchanan just doesn't feel, I believe, that uh, Green Adams could hurt him. Take a deep breath. There you go. Are you, you, you're working good, son. You're working good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, the doctor having a pretty intense look at Lucas Green Arias and 
Going to the yeah. corner, assuring him that he doesn't want to continue. Just not fighting with enough heart to suggest that. Well, round six, Buchanan showing that he can make the transition from defense to offense. He's slipping shots. Basically, he's been out of range of Green Arrows for most of this fight. And then later in the round, turns it up. That's a nice counter right hand. Green Arrows should learn from that punch because that's the exact shot go, he Let's should go. be trying to learn. Steve, we haven't heard e everything in Lucas Green Arias' corner, but it doesn't seem that the fighter himself knows what to do, and I don't know if the corner could give him anything substantive in terms of game plan. Right hand by Lucas Green Arias. Let's see if he could follow up. That's the kind of fight this has been, though, when the guy lands one single shot. You know, our, our eyes are raised because we haven't seen that too often. And now it's all jab from Buchanan, his left hand low. Green Arias has a lot of zeros right there. He's in new ground. Buchanan, condition has been an issue for him in the past, but at least he's been in. And at this pace, you gotta figure 10 is not gonna be that much of a challenge. Buchanan following off that, uh, fighting off the jab with a good right hand. You'd like to see more of that from him. See, you get the impression that Buchanan, does he definitely want to take the lead? It almost looks like he would like to be a counterpuncher as well, or maybe more than, than a guy who gets off first. Well, he's counted a couple of times, but he can't take that counterpuncher approach for the simple reason that there's nothing to counter. <laughs> you know, I mean, Green Harris just isn't throwing. But so Buchanan's doing the right thing. Why isn't he throwing more? It's hard to, of course, get inside his head. But if you hit with a right hand there, that might wake him up. His hands are still down. We saw a lot of sweat fly. It's hard to tell how flush Green Arias landed. But two right hands in the seventh round, the best punches by him all night. And you asked why Sugar Pooh isn't working more, punching more. A lot of that could very well have to do with the fact that he's going 10 for the first time. There's a little date that he's got a doubt in his mind. A little hot dog in him right there. Oh, yeah. I think we talked about the quality of opposition, both these guys being untested, and sure enough, if you look at Buchanan's record, no familiar names, but it wasn't a street fight with William Joppy, so should that count? <laughs> um, depends on who won. <laughs> Green Arias' trainer didn't accompany him on his first trip to the United States from Costa Rica, so... Perhaps that's why the synergy in the corner isn't much from what we hear. Good point, and uh, that's kind of... Uh, it's one. Sorry, I couldn't make it. Uh, we came up to uh, next to nothing, and now we're in the biggest possibility of our careers, and i got other things to do. Right. Right hand again by Green Arias. Get the beat to the punch, and there, off a little turn, that left hook to Buchanan. Nine. Not a bad round by Lucas Green Arias. How do you have it, Steve? Uh, give you a little time to hold it Doesn't take long. 70 to 63, 10, 7 0 for uh, Buchanan. You have to give me more, box more. 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 Have a sucker shot, okay. but nothing okay. serious. You can't have that. Peter Volpe, can you And you know, just being a fill-in trainer, what can you really tell a guy? You really probably had never seen in the ring before. Hey, you know, hit more, land more, throw more, but how? You don't know if the guy's capable of throwing or any of it. Exactly. Uh, Lucas Arias was a mystery to all of us. There was no tape. His competition in Costa Rica. Hey, he had some nice, a lot of knockouts, but against two. Well, my suspicions have been realized so far as we hit the eighth round. 
Uh, he was in soft his entire career, softer than Buchanan, simply because of Buchanan fighting here in the States. To draw an analogy with the uh, March Madness tournament, Lucas Green Arias is sort of like the winner of that tournament. That tiny little conference in Tennessee that nobody's ever seen on national TV. Now, he's not even the number one seed here, but uh, he's playing as if he's not quite at the level of the bigger schools. He just hit the Buchanan with a right hand, but we haven't seen a punch from either guy for 20 seconds. And where's the follow-up? You know, a little success. And what is Buchanan doing? It, it, again, it doesn't matter. He's widely round, probably, Steve. You're right. He's, if he stays out of danger, he moves into the second round. But Survive in advance, right? I suppose. And that's why I said before, we're not going to know how good Sugar Poo is until round two. I would open up. Make it a great sparring session for yourself, if nothing else. And maybe, this being a tournament format, maybe that changes the fighter's approach a little bit. Doesn't like that give himself up? You got your win, you know you're fighting the next round, you take your win, you put it in your pocket, and you get defensive and cautious. Well, you might not do that, you know, if uh, your performance is going to result in a big fight next time or not a big fight next time. Right. So you're saying it's not only the fact that you don't want to show your opponent too much of your game, but also you don't want to risk being knocked out of this, because it is a quick knockout single elimination. Exactly. So we'd like to see more out of a guy who, say you look at the cards, you, you pick up a paper or look at a website tomorrow and you see this guy won arguably, uh, you know, 188, and you say, if you looked at the films, did he look great? <laughs> So far, no. Did he look dominant? Yes, yeah, simply because of the inabilities of his opponent. Rather than the out and out. Class A skills of Henry Buchanan. So these last couple of rounds from Buchanan's perspective, they're gonna be all about focus. Take a deep breath. Suck it up. Get the mouthpiece, nigga. Take, take a deep breath. Get a good breath. Good work. Good work. Where's my face? I got you. This is my cold top. I got you. My eyes. I got you. Good work. Good work. He's desperate. He don't have nothing to lose. He's having fun. He's still depending on that right hand. You understand me? He's still depending on that right hand. I said, it up, Still depending on it. What I need you to do, I need you to keep working. Working with that hook now. You heard me? I said, Keep your right hand up for the hook. Work the hook. I said, Good work. Good work. Good work, sugar. We hit the ninth here in Las Vegas. Henry Buchanan in the white and blue and in the gold and red. Lucas Green Arias, who has fall, fallen hopelessly behind, we could say with, I'd say, a reasonable amount of conviction, Steve Farhood. Well, you know it's a little bit one-sided and not the most dramatic fight when you start reading the fighters' trunks, and there's a lot to read. I think this guy is. I mean, he's got Rigo's taco. I don't know why Rigo only has one taco, <laughs> but I'm getting hungry. You have to read his trunks. Arias just trying to read every move that Lucas Green Arias is about to make. But he just hasn't put, put it in gear tonight at all. And I see he hit it out of, hit it out of the first round. He looks slow, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Arias, both foot and hand speed line, right? He can't enable the box when he wants a box. Rest when he wants to rest. So going 10 should be no problem because he hasn't been pressed. More than a moment or two in this fight. Boy, Steve, that'll be the big key. What do you do when you 
when he gets pressure, where he inevitably will if he lasts long enough in this tournament and wins, starting by winning tonight. I just want a little bit more. I said you would probably go in, Steve. I thought you kind of would argue. You'd probably have to make this fight so how intelligently would he do it? And there is a safety first approach for single shots. And there's that one note for one trip pony from uh, Lucas B. Harris, the right hand. Very slow. Green Harris. Again, never been past six before. I promise you that in round two, Henry Buchanan will be seeing a lot more punches coming his way, regardless of who wins between Mendy and Vargas. That will be October 6th in California when we get the uh, final four, so to speak, of our super middleweight tournament. This is the opening round. Eight men who have won 95% of their fights collectively. Two unbeatens here in our opening bout. And that will soon change. As we wind down the ninth of a scheduled 10 rounder, these are all 10 round fights, of course. Single elimination tournament. One of these guys going home, the other will be on. We don't give a shit what happened. We got nothing to lose. We got nothing to lose. Come on. You understand? Come on. I got you. I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the final round. Just keep your hands up. He's I know what happened. He got nothing to lose. Don't talk about it. Get the second to win it. I'll be good. Three good minutes. Boy, boy. I have to ask for the obvious there, Steve. Hey, it's the final round. Give me three good minutes. And the other... The champ from Junius Hinton in Buchanan's corner all night has been he's got nothing to lose, he's desperate. Well, you mean you wouldn't uh, call that a new Rocky quality pep talk there? <laughs> Come on out there and get rid of him. No backhand. Green Arias has been down once as an amateur, never off his feet as a, as a professional in 11 fights. Nobody's saying Buchanan is a good one, but it's definitely been single shots here. An occasional combination. I forget about playing too much defense. I think he's going to have to show so much more offensively to be a viable threat in this tournament. And we just saw a key moment there that Simple had yeah, was it half right, this whole right, fight. Right, right. For a six, split second there, you can't hey, don't look into the crowd through the floor. That's uh, not at this point in the fight. But for a split second there, his back was to the ropes. He spun right away. He hasn't spent five seconds in this fight against the ropes or on the inside. Now, granted, Lucas Green's let him do that. But it does take some discipline and some focus for sure to fight the way he's going. It's the same crowd that's going to be here watching his uh, next week's opponent. So I don't think he really wants to uh, alienate the crowd here. A little bit of fighting might be a good idea. Hey, he's alienating me, Steve. Uh, he did that all. He's been doing that all fight. Sorry. Right. Right. Step back. Step back. He doesn't do enough to win. I, I can't really hold that against him. Right. Well, I am. <laughs> it's all right. Well, I think in the rear view stage, you're right. These fans may be waiting for him. They may be waiting for him. They may be waiting for him. They may be waiting for him. He's starting a disaster here. And now he's going to be waiting for him. We're in Las Vegas with no fights. That's for sure. You don't want to win a fight 10 rounds to zero or 9-1 and get booed as you leave the ring. Stacy, right. yeah, right. 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 when you haven't been hit more than three or four times and never really had your bell rung, and you're backing up here in the 10th round, it just doesn't make sense to you. Just engage this guy. 
a fight kick. Oh, get get out, out of there. He looks like he's shaking. Not dead on his feet, you can. You can tell with a little smile from Sugar Poo. He's a little happy. He's a little impressed with himself. Good point. I'll give him that. Green Arias has not had the answers all night. He has absolutely been bewildered at the sight of Henry Buchanan. And if you, you, know, you throw enough, you're going to have to land occasionally. And he has landed maybe four or five right hands with this entire fight. And that has been yet otherwise zipped. Well, I'm giving Green Arias a 10th round. I don't think he's landed a single touch, Nick. It's just a matter of principle. So you got to go 99, 89? 99 uh, to 91. 91, 91 right? I might call me out anymore. I'm not too sharp and said it. So there's a boxing clinic, according to Henry Buchanan. He certainly did enough to win this fight going away. And it became apparent after the first second round. I I don't know where I was. I must have had my back to the ring saying that Green Arias uh, was winning that first round. But <laughs> One for the scrapbooks, the super middleweight tournament. First of two fights tonight. We're back here in Las Vegas, same place, same time. Two more fights next week, and then we'll be down to the, the field of eight. will be cut in half. Good action from round 10 here, Nick. Sugar Poop taking the round off. Do a little showboating. You're not allowed to grab the ropes there, Sugar Poop, but... Uh, he is athletic, and he moves well. Didn't land any of those shots. That's about the best Green Arias can do. He never really committed to his shots, never came forward. And as was a concern of mine, focus, focus was a little bit of an issue for Buchanan in the 10th round, and the, the fans didn't like this. The cheers go up for Lucas Green Arias. Why? <laughs> he finished on his feet. So that is one record that's intact. Jake Gutierrez upstairs will make it official now. All day long. Ladies and gentlemen, after 10 rounds of boxing, we go to the scorecards. Judge Carol Castellano scored this bout 96-94. Judge Dave already saw it 98-92. And Judge Glenn Crowbridge scores it 97-93, all for the winner by unanimous decision and still undefeated, Henry Sugarpoo Buchanan!